we're back with part 3 of our architectural student hacks. Woo! Alright guys, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I have previously released Architecture Hacks Part 1 and Part 2. Here are some of my favorite hacks from those videos. So if you guys are interested in those, I'll put the link in the descriptions below. So the hacks I'm about to show you guys are super top secret. Not, not really. <laughs> but they're super helpful and I have used them all the time when I was a student in order to survive architecture school. Let's, let's just jump into it. First hack is for tracing out things. So the first thing you will need is a plastic box, a flashlight, and some tape. Now all you gotta do is place the flashlight inside the box, then tape the thing you're going to trace onto the box, and mount your paper on top of that, but make sure to turn on the flashlight. <laughs> and then trace away. Also, it would help a lot to trace inside a dark room so that you can easily see what you're tracing. Now, if you guys don't have a box like this, you could always use a window. Just make sure it's daytime when you do this. <laughs> so common sense, I don't know why I have to say that. Moving on to the second hack. So this hack is what I use to divide a line without a calculator. Sometimes we come across a line that is just undividable with mental math, like how am I supposed to divide 13.6 centimeters? I, I, I can't even mental math that. So to divide this, you guys would grab a calculator and calculate it. But there's a much faster way. All you are going to need is a ruler. Okay, so here's how to do it, guys. So draw a perpendicular line on one end of the line that you are supposed to divide. Then choose a measurement that is easily divisible by 5. Let's say like 20. So. 20 divided by 5 is like 4, so that's easy to divide. Okay, now align the zero of your ruler to one end of our line and align 20 to our perpendicular line. Then, just draw a line connecting 0 and 20. And now divide those points into 5. So like I said a while ago, 20 divided by 5 is 4 centimeters. So just mark this diagonal line every 4 centimeter increment. Now all you have to do is project our 4 cm increments onto the line that we are going to divide. And boom! That line is now equally divided into 5 segments without the use of any mathematics or calculator. It's just like magic. Ooh. I, I don't know what that was guys. Ooh. It's so warm guys. I shouldn't have worn this jacket but I've already recorded like half of the video with the jacket so... Yeah, I'll just, I think I'll just sweat through this whole video. So I apologize if I am sweaty for the rest of the video. I, I blame the jacket and, and my perspiration. I, I don't know why I'm always perspiring. Ah, oh, still so sweaty. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the third hack, guys. So for this one, we are going to make our own furniture blocks. Like this one's right here. Ooh. So these are what I use to plan out preliminary layouts of rooms, toilets and baths, living rooms and kitchens, etc. Okay, so you guys might be wondering what these furniture blocks are for. So, okay, for example, I want to plan out a living room. I just get my couch templates and coffee table template and some corner table templates. Now, I just lay out the furniture until I come up with an acceptable layout. This way, I don't have to draw, then erase, then draw again. I could just relocate the furniture, you know, wherever. So, Anyways, to make these furniture blocks, all you are going to need is a printer, some sticker paper, and a piece of Sintra board. Now, you guys don't necessarily need to use Sintra board. Any type of cardboard would be fine, but I use Sintra board because it is sturdy and, you know, somewhat water resistant. Now, all we gotta do is print out our furnitures to scale onto our sticker. I usually use 1 is to 100 scale. Once that's printed out, just stick it to your Sintra board, then cut out the outlines. Now we have our very own furniture blocks. Now you guys could also make this without using a printer. You know, just manually draw them onto the center board. But I, I find it easier to just print them. Alright guys, now that I am all shiny from all the sweat and oils that have been secreting from my glands. 
Let's move on to hack numero cuatro. I don't know why I turn Spanish when I'm all sweaty. So hack number four is for drawing short freehand lines and helps you train your hand into drawing much straighter lines. So the things you're going to need for this hack are some tiny binder clips and a rubber band. Now, all you have to do is attach the rubber band onto the tiny metal handles of the clips. When that's done, all you have to do is just rest the tiny metal clips on your thumb and your middle finger. Uh, it might be a little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really quite easy. So with this, you could now draw freehand lines with a guide and eventually, with enough practice, you won't even need the rubber band clip thing anymore. It's kind of like training wheels, but for, for your hands, you know. Okay guys, fifth and last hack is for those of you guys who still make a ton of title blocks. So back when I was in school, I usually had to make a ton of title blocks for our design subjects. And I don't really have access to a large format printer, so I had to improvise. Okay, so instead of measuring all the time and making a bunch of title blocks, all I usually do is just make one title block and then I use a pin to poke a hole on the corner points of the title block. Okay, now this title block with a bunch of holes is what I call a sacrificial title block which will basically act as our template. So now whenever you need to make a title block with the same layout as, as your sacrificial title block, you just lay your template on top of your paper and poke your pencil through the holes we made and voila! We got our corner points. Now all we gotta do is connect the dots and we're done with the title block. No more measuring and spending 10 minutes on making a single title block and you know, wasting your whole night just making a bunch of title blocks and you didn't really accomplish anything story of my life <laughs> and that's all the hacks guys but don't click out of the video just yet we got a bonus hack or tip well well it's more of a bonus tip than a hack so on my previous videos a bunch of you guys have been asking for tips or you know pointers on how to clean your drafting tools since a ton of you guys are experiencing those notorious evil dust pixies anyways if you guys haven't seen my architecture hack part two I did this hack to avoid getting dirt on my drafting tools. And also, in my architectural technical pen tip, I also showed you guys this technique. This video is just turning into a weird self-promotion thing. Anyways, if those hacks didn't work and you still get visits from the evil dirt pixies, I have the solution for you. So this is what I do. I get a square piece of paper and I rub the end of the drafting tool like so until no more black stuff rubs off onto the paper. When I'm done with that, I get an old eraser and just run it along the edge of my drafting tool and I erase the part of the tool where the measurements are printed off. Okay, so if you feel this side, the printing is a bit embossed and if my suspicion is correct, that is where the graphite from your pencils gather. So every time you run over some excess graphite on your paper, this little bumps pick it up and then spread it like butter on toast all over your plate. Well, that ends now. Just rub it with your eraser, going with the grain and that should solve your dirt problem. Now, if that's still not enough for you, you guys could get some alcohol, some cotton balls and some tissue paper and just thoroughly wipe your drafting tools. So if you do this and there's still dirt on your paper, you guys gotta call an exorcist or something cause clearly there's some ghost or supernatural chisels messing with you, man. So have your tools blessed or dip it in holy water or whatnot, you know. Anyways, all jokes aside, I hope you guys learned some useful stuff from this whole video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy, Lian. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace. Yeah. <laughs>